Yes, yes, welcome back to another video. A bit of news from Fabrizio Romano. I know the transfer window is now closed, but Fabrizio does not sleep. He keeps coming out with the information and interesting facts that might be worth knowing if you're a Manchester City fan. And how many of you remember Mark Cucurella and when we were in for him when he was still with Brighton just before he went to Chelsea? As we know, Mark Cucurella was a left back. He played one season with Brighton, the Premier League. He did very well. He caught the eyes of many. He was very impressive. So we decided to go in for him just over a year ago I believe with a 60 million pound bid or in or around that mark maybe it was 50 million and Brighton said no this is their valuation Chelsea went in there and got Mark Cucurella we just missed out unfortunately but that's the way transfers work unfortunately he went to Chelsea it didn't work out for him all that well I don't think he's taken the world by storm since he arrived at Chelsea but the word is in January of this year January 2023 City made yet another attempt to go and get the services of Mark Cucurella from Chelsea. Fabrizio Romano says Man City presented a loan with buy option proposal from Mark Cucurella in January 2023 which was rejected by Chelsea. Now, why would Manchester City go back in for Mark Cucurella in January 2023? What happened in January 2023 that was of note and impactful to Manchester City? The whole Joao Cancelo fiasco kicked off, didn't it? Cancelo had a, a fractured relationship with Pep Guardiola. All sorts of rumours were circulating on the internet as to breakouts or fights and training and arguing with this player and unhappy with his game time. We don't know exactly what was true, but we know that there definitely was friction between Pep Guardiola and Cancelo. This resulted in Cancelo getting shipped off to Bayern Munich on loan, leaving us without a player who is a fullback, essentially. Cancelo obviously being deployed as both right and left back for Manchester City. So, Cucurella seemed to be the player that City turned their attention to once again. This comes as a bit of a surprise to me. It's not usually in the nature of Manchester City to be reactionary, especially um, mid-season, January transfer window. It's not like City to be reactionary and because you've lost a player, go out and try and find an immediate replacement. And for me, based off how Mark Cucurella was playing for Chelsea, he wouldn't have had the same impact that Cancelo had. That's not to say that Pep couldn't have improved Cucurella as a player, but if you're looking for immediate impact Cancelo replacement, for me, it would not have been Cucurella. So, is this good news that Chelsea turned that down? I think so. Cucurella, for me, you know, he's been linked to a Manchester United in the transfer window just gone. He never settled in very well to life at Chelsea. I'm not sure what his future at Chelsea looks like. They've already got replacements at left back. Ben Chilwell's playing left wing. Um, so it's kind of hard to break into that Chelsea team right now with the amount of money they're pumping in. But is that to say that Cucurella would have made a bad player at Manchester City? Like I said, I think Pep would have made him better, but I'm not convinced. I'm always very wary and conscious of players who have only had one major season in the Premier League, which is what Cucurella did have. I mean, you look at Moises Caicedo. I'm not doubting for one minute that Moises Caicedo is a very, very good player and he has a very, very high ceiling. But to pay 115, 120 million, whatever it was, by Chelsea for a player who's had essentially one very, very good season in the Premier League, I'm very cautious of that and I'm very skeptical of doing so. So the fact that City didn't jump in with Brighton's initial valuation back when we originally were in for him, I found to be the, the right protocol, the right plan of action because you can just never be too sure. You can just never be too sure and as Chelsea found the hard way, the Cucurella money so far looks like a bit of a waste as far as I'm concerned. It looks like a bit of a waste because he hasn't settled into life at Chelsea. He hasn't hit the ground running. He hasn't had the impact that he did have at Brighton. He's obviously a very attacking fullback. That would appeal to Pep Guardiola. Cancelo was a very attacking fullback but for me, Cucurella has his defensive flaws and if you look at the new evolution of Manchester City's defence you know with Vardiol who is a centre back now being able to play at left back Ake a centre back playing at left back and you have Stones a centre back playing at right back it's quite clear that Pep Guardiola's primary demand of all of his defensive players is that you can defend to a very high level I'm not sure Cucurella would have strengthened our defensive side of things and allowed us to be as defensively solid as we were in the second half of last season you look at the lack of goals or the, the amount of goals we conceded and how little that was I'm not sure Cucurella would have allowed us to, to be that solid defensively. I, I really like this four centre-halves thing Pep Guardiola has going on. So it was a loan with a, with a buy option. Um, for me, it seemed like a potential, not panic, but City were being a bit reactionary and then it was rejected by Chelsea. Fabrizio saying this, I don't know what it would, what it would, what it would have actually happened if Chelsea had have accepted the offer or the proposal, but we didn't get him in the end. And then come the summertime, we went and, 
and got Josco Vardial, which I think is um, a better signing for us. It suits us better. Vardial has been very impressive since he arrived, has an even higher ceiling than Cucurella for me, uh, and suits the way Pep Guardiola wants his defenders to play football nowadays. So listen, just a quick piece of information. I thought it was a bit interesting considering we've been in for Cucurella before and it didn't work out, then we went in again. It's not like City to, to not get a player the first time and then try again, if that makes sense. If it doesn't work the first time, City generally will not go in again. That's not really the way we operate. Our pride is too high, if that makes sense. So listen, Cucurella, there was an offer, a loan with an option to buy. City proposed it. Chelsea said no. Leave your comments down below. Do you think Cucurella would have been a good signing for Manchester City? And please let me know your thoughts on everything I said about the defensive side of things and what I said about him not being the, the profile of defender that Pep Guardiola likes to operate with nowadays. Smash a like on the video as well if you would. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you tomorrow with some brand new content. Say a bit.